So I've been going to the cinema a lot recently and it's been a really, really good summer. We've had Barbie, Oppenheimer, and one that really took me by surprise was Talk To Me, probably one of my favorite horror films of the year. And if you're like me and you can't seem to switch off when you're watching a film, you're always trying to figure out what they're doing with lighting, cinematography, anything like that, or the topic of today's video, the color. You see, film, and specifically color in film, is kind of like a cake. And stay with me. It's more than just throwing a look at an image and calling it done. It's a combination of the lighting, the set department, the prop department, the costume design, and the way the cinematographer and director bring that all together. But you, as colorists, get to be the icing on that cake. One way you're able to do this is by applying saturation to your images. And it might surprise you to learn that there's more than one way of applying saturation. So we're going to hop into Resolve and I'm going to show you what I mean. So the first tool that we're going to look at is our saturation slider. And that lives down here in our primaries. And if you've never color graded before, if you've never touched Resolve, it's probably the first way you'd ever consider adding saturation. So we're going to just look at what that does now. We're going to add saturation. So you can see it's definitely added saturation to our image. Just turn it off, turn it on. It looks cool, it looks fine, but it's doing something else as well, which I'm not a huge fan of. So if you look at this back wall here and our scopes, we just turn it off and turn it on. You can see it's pushing colors higher, so they're getting brighter while we're adding saturation. And this isn't always desirable and can sometimes throw off the look you're trying to achieve. So how can we adjust saturation in a more filmic or cinematic way? Well, if you think about colour in a real world sense, the more saturated a colour gets, it doesn't get brighter, it will typically get darker or more dense. And this is where one of my favourite methods of adding saturation comes in. And to do this method, you do need to make sure you're colour managing your project correctly, otherwise you might get some weird, unexpected results. And you can do this in more than one way. You can add a colour space transform node or you can work at the project level. And just for the sake of ease, we are applying color space at the project level. So what we've done is click on the little cog down here, go to color management, and these are my settings. And I'm not gonna to delve too deep on this today, but your input color space is whatever camera's log you're using. So probably 99% of people are gonna be using sgamut3.cine, just so it's there. So you pop that in and then save it. All of these settings match those and you'll be able to follow along. So now that we've got our color management set up, the first thing that we want to do is add a serial node. And it's exactly the same as what we had before, except there's no saturation applied to it. It's just a brand new clean node. And all we're going to do is change the color space of this node. So to do that, you just want to right click, go to color space, and we're going to select HSV. And all that does is act like a quick color space transform just within this node. So to quickly recap what's happening, we're going in from our camera, so in this case, Arilog C4. We're going into DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate. And then we're going in to this HSV color space, back out to DaVinci Wide Gamma. And then when we get to this little green icon here, that's going out to Rec 709, which is what we're seeing here. And that's just a broadcast space. But again, color spaces, another topic for another video. So what is HSV? Well, HSV stands for Hue, Saturation and Value, but we only want to be working with the saturation channel. So to do that, we go to our node, we right click it and we click channels and disable channel one, which is H, the hue. Go again, channels and disable channel three, which is V, the value. So now when we're working in this node, all we're doing is affecting the saturation. So all I'm going to do is push my gamma up and you can see as we do that, we are adding saturation to our image. And we're just gonna bring the gain down a little bit, make a little curve. And if we go to full screen, turn it off and then on. And pay attention to that back wall as well. You can see that all it's doing is getting denser. We're not getting brighter anymore like we did with the traditional saturation. And for me, this is way more filmic, way more reflective of how color actually works in real life and it's clean and will travel across multiple images in a more pleasing way. And much like the saturation slider, it is really easy to push this too far. So you could just go absolutely crazy with your gamma 
and you can see that's doing pretty weird stuff and a little does go a long way with that so just pushing it something like that off on off on i think that looks good really quickly though never touch your lift so if you touch your lift straight away that's doing some really weird stuff and that's just because it's working from absolute blank and it's trying to introduce saturation where there isn't any and it's just going to break your image so when you're working in hsv i would advise never working with lift or offset just work your gamma and gain against each other and you'll get some really really nice and quick results so why would you use hsv over traditional saturation and truthfully it's not about which one is better or worse because they're both tackling the same problem just in a different way and maybe you want a more digital saturation or maybe you want a more film-like cinematic kind of saturation but having these tools under your belt and knowing how to use them is going to help level up your color grading and the projects you deliver tenfold there are so many ways to adjust saturation in your images and this is just a drop in the ocean of ways to do that but this video is really just to show you how quick and easy it can be to apply really pleasing cinematic saturation to your images and i hope you learned something and if you did and you'd like to see more content like this i'm going to be doing some quick color grading tip tutorials and some cinematography bits as well consider subscribing hit the like button and i shall see you in the next one peace